seemed to me like what that law. Well, what do you meant. think the difference is? I mean, they drilled you a well and they won't drill you a well, right? It's the DEP claims my water's fine. Yeah, they come in and they do their. Was not. Yeah, they come in and they do their. The the tests that they utilize are uh, just solely for indicators of drilling activity, not for the VOCs, not for anything else. So they're looking for the high chlorides, high sodium, high TDS, things which that would, have. yeah, which would be associated with, you know, the drilling activity. But um, I'm not sure when you called. When January. January. 2009. Okay. Which I think when, it's just obvious, like when you look at the map of everybody on our hill, who has water issues, you see this trend. You see where the wells are, and then you see this swath like this of all the homes that the water is destroyed. You know, mm -hmm. so when DEP came to my house, I told them I was dissatisfied with their determination that my water wasn't, of course it's affected. Now maybe it's not frack fluid, I don't know. I don't know what contaminated it. Maybe it's the stripping plant next door. Maybe they dumped something on the hill that got it. I, I, I have no idea what it is. I'm not telling you it's fracking fluid. What I'm saying is it wasn't like this before. Mm -hmm. Now they drill, it is like this. And ironically, if you look around, all my neighbors are like this too. How can my case be different? Mm -hmm. Obviously they're connected. Like any thinking mind sees this trend. Mm -hmm. You know, and I said, we have pictures of stuff up on the hill, methane, not methane, methanol, dripping, drums, dripping into the ground, constantly dripping, 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 spills all over the place. Maybe that's what's in there. I don't know. And DEP said to me, well, it could be a lot of things. It could be bacteria. Well, I had just bleached my well. So, and plus everyone else as well as could, you know, so I can't, I don't think it's bacteria in my water well destroying the whole street. And he said, well, we are in a drought right now. Okay, people have lived on this hill for a very long time, gone through droughts. Nobody's wells have ever done this. Mm. What else did he tell me? Oh, it might be your hot water tank, he told me. Okay, but it's the cold water too. And again, my neighbor's houses. I mean, it's like the one person <laughs> said, that, you know, this rock, and this wasn't here, but um, the rocks that you, those little plastic rocks you put over well heads, mm -hmm. you know, maybe that's leaching. Maybe my neighbor, he told me, maybe my neighbor spilled some paint or some gasoline. You never know. I mean, they're trying to find all of these little reasons why maybe it's not the driller. When, you know, his well goes south in October, they frack in January, in January, my how my neighbor all of a sudden I mean it's it's very obvious to any thinking mind mm -hmm. <laughs> what's going on and if your 18 parameters don't pin it down to fracking that's fine then continue your investigation you say you will investigate testing for 18 things and saying well wasn't those that's not an investigation you're yeah. not finished continue the also you know the, it was more the fracking that was done on 26 wells not all of the wells have been fracked but that fracking occurred from like maybe November 2008 into early 2009. So we're just we're focusing on the January ones or just the ones that affected my well. But there was several month period of when the fracking was happening. Um, I think Yvonne's well pump froze, seized up. Mm -hmm. And it. when was that? That was over Super Bowl weekend because yeah. I was upset about it. <laughs> and <laughs> is that where the party was going to be? Oh yeah. no, and but the Steelers was, were playing and yeah. I wanted to see <laughs> Yeah, right. so, <laughs> no, we got it in fast enough and we were able to see the Steelers game. <laughs> so it was like got backed up with sludge or? Well, you know, we bleached it. With the first time DEP came out, they said, well, it might be bacteria, bleach your well. Well, okay. I mean, at this point, I'm still thinking they're on my side. <laughs> you know? Okay, sure. Whatever you say, you're the expert. So we bleached our well and the pump just fried. I mean, it just fried. Also, another neighbor right across the street here just you know a handful of houses down from your bond uh same thing they're well seized up um, then when we pulled that we put a new pump in we lost like 20 or 30 feet in our well it just wouldn't go down anymore so i don't know what happened there but we didn't know what we called a couple people they said don't know never heard of it so we needed water it was winter you know so we just kind of sealed it all up we were done we just cut the pipe fine we're 20 feet lost and I mentioned it to DEP, and now they claim that I've totally changed my well. And so now they won't even test my water anymore until I put it back to the original depth. Because now anything that they find in there, maybe I did that when I changed the depth of the well. You know, this is getting ridiculous. I think the first time I called them out, 
it should have been on the driller. I should never have had to bleach anything. I should never have had to do anything to my well. I think presumptive liability, the second they came out, mm -hmm. smelled my water, they should have said, yep, okay, let me call Elio, let me call Shriner, whoever that driller, you know. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't have had to do anything. So now, what, I'm $1,000 out, a messed up well, and now all of a sudden they don't have to worry about me anymore because of this 20-foot difference. It just seems a little ridiculous. There was also yeah, no, a, a like third that. well pump that went bad, too. Another neighbor? Yeah. And how so many hot water tanks a, mine went. Yeah, there's quite a few, uh, few other issues. hot water tanks. What, 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 what would be the cause of that? Like iron? I don't know. The hot water Even tank solvents, tank. I think. Eating away membranes Sol yeah. or... Yeah. Solvents that they could... <laughs> Yeah. Who yeah. knows what they stick in there? And, and again, they don't really have to, to say Clean it. Clean Drinking Water Act, they're yeah, that, exempt from. Yeah, that, 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 that's just mind-boggling. You know, how can you not have anything on the surface, but yet you can inject anything you want underneath the surface. And, you know, that, and not tell anybody. That's well, just Well, we've wrong. said how many times, like if we went over to their house and peed in their well, we'd go to jail. You can't do something like that. But this is... Yeah, I don't think I'm allowed to inject any chemicals, benzene, toluene, down in my water well to affect my neighbors. Right. I think I would get in trouble. I'm right. pretty sure if you <laughs> dumped your antifreeze yeah. out and somebody and the, the right person caught you, you oh, could yeah. get in trouble. Yeah, that's and then I've unacceptable. Just, I, I forget who it was. Somebody had taken a bunch of stuff that they found, because all of this stuff is public knowledge. It's online, a lot of DEP's mm -hmm. files and stuff. So our final determinations, they're online. And this one uh, organization had found them and posted it on their website, kind of like a link. And I just happened to be looking through stuff. That's the only reason I found this, and I found a letter about that day that they came to visit my house. And they said that they smelled and tasted the water, which is true. They did smell, and they did actually drink it. They said that they did not smell or taste anything unusual. And that I said I didn't either on that day. Now, I think you know me so far well enough to know I never would have said that because it's not true. Did of course, you why would I call that? no, why would I call them out there if my water didn't smell and taste funny? That's absurd. Why would I want to waste my time? <laughs> That's absurd. And when they came in, this is when again I still thought they kind of were gonna help me out. The one guy who tasted the water, he said to me, huh, it's kind of like a musty, metallic. And I said, yes, I got so excited because I thought that's exactly how I would have described it. So that means you taste it, you smell it, now you're going to help me. And mm -hmm. then for him to publish on this final determination yeah. that he smelled or tasted nothing. You know, I think so far Steve has been very nice in giving DEP some credit. And cr give credit where credit's due. I mean, I'm not saying you shouldn't, but that has not <laughs> been my experience. They have flat out lied. Yeah. They are definitely not on the side of protecting us at all. They will find any way they can to get out of having to do anything for you. The, the only reason why they helped me is because it was blatantly obvious that something happened to my well. That's now, pretty obvious too. Well, <laughs> it is, but you know, again, I... I they over didn't the, have a loophole for you. Yeah, no, they couldn't get out of this one, <laughs> right. exactly. Right. And, I, you know, over the years, I, several years I've been dealing with all this, I've really learned that exactly what Yvonne said. It seems like they they will shoot out every excuse. And I understand you need to examine all issues, but don't, don't negate the fact that drilling has occurred. Mm -hmm. And it, that's a big factor. Don't just say, well, it's probably this, probably that, probably that. Well, hey, hello. There's drilling activity. Right. And Look it's just there, a method too. Of scientific investigation. If you have some symptoms, some evidence that five different things could explain, then what do you do? You don't just pick one, which is what they're doing. You get more evidence. You rule them all out. You rule them all out. You get more evidence. So if I have water that smells funny, and it didn't before, and it does now, and you've done this test of 18 parameters, it doesn't prove that nothing happened. That means you get more evidence. You do more testing. They refuse. Yeah, their easy way out, they'll take it every time. I would like to challenge all the drillers out there and just, you know, be a cut above mm -hmm. and establish yourself as one of the one of the better drilling, you know, uh, drilling developers out there and just say, you know what, we do it this way because we don't want to have problems. And, 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 and it's possible. Yeah. And it doesn't cost that much more money. And, and we will follow the law. But the norm seems to be not that. The norm seems to be that yeah, they have 